Epilogue, The Buried Past. When the old man had finished this story, the travelers were silent for a long time. Finally, the younger one of them spoke up. And you found him, old man? You found dead William and buried him? Yes, I found his corpse by the river. It was a happy day for Ulio when he died. All his pain ended. All his pain ended when he died. Yes, the pain ended. His pain ended. Yes, yes, my good man. It most certainly was a salvation for him. And what happened to Princess Luana? Oh, Luana? She withdrew into the monastery where Ulio and her had first met. I think she lived on there for some time. She never spoke a word to any loving person anymore. Too big was her grief and her shame. Although nothing really happened between her and Ulio. Hold on, did you just say, nothing happened? Indeed, nothing happened. Ulio was called away to battle before the wedding night. He never touched her. This is not quite true, old man. What do you mean, not quite true? I know a bit of the Ulio story myself. The final battle against the Yuri did not take place until much later. When Ulio and his army left for the western shores, he and Luana had been married for more than a year. Slanderer! This is not true! Ulio left before the wedding night! He never touched her! I am speaking the truth, old man. Luana and Ulio even had a child. Even though the child was a bleeder and did not live very long. Bastards! Liars! Leo did not touch her! <laughs> and the child? There was no child! There was no child! He did not touch her! Alright, alright, old man. He did not touch her! He did not touch her! Calm down, calm down. Alright, he did not touch her, fine with us. He did not touch her! He did not touch her! He did not! He did not! The old man collapsed on the floor and lay still. When the travelers turned him around, they looked into a lifeless face. The travelers sat motionless, staring at each other. Finally, the elder traveler gently closed the dead man's eyes. Well... Our fellow guarded Ulio's grave in his memory for many years. Let us bury him in Ulio's tomb, so that the prince and his guardian shall be united. And so they did. But when they opened Ulio's grave, they found no remains of any other body. And as they heaved the old man into the hole, his trouser leg slid up and revealed a star-shaped birthmark on his right thigh. <laughs> So that is the end of Julio. Indeed, finally at the end. Just roll the credits. One of the old SCN Punk websites that's not up anymore. There's a link to that in the uh, Tamer Lane campaign. You clicked on some guy in one of the early scenarios and he told you to visit their website. And thanks to all of the playtesters and everyone around here and the good old a mobile unit's AI gold. Nothing really to look at at the achievements, but 
I hope you guys enjoyed that, because I rather enjoyed that. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.